Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do basic color correction for free using AI tools. Let me show you what I'm talking about and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So here is the color corrected shot and I realize it's got a bit too much orange in it, but just to show you how strong this is, here's the color corrected footage. I'll hit play. Here's the original footage and I hit play. They don't look anything alike. We went and did this for free using AI. How did I do it? Let me show you. First step, just type in runwayml.com. I will put a link in the description below. And then up at the top right, you got two options. Sign up, it's free, and it is free, or login. Some places are sign up and then they watermark it, not this place. Um, so click login if you haven't, if you've already got a sign up. And then presto, once you're logged in, you're going to see on the left side a few options. Click on AI Magic Tools. This is the one we're working with. Now, scroll down on the right side. There's a whole bunch of cool things to choose from. The one we're looking at in this video is Text to Color Grade, LUT, or Lookup Table. When you click on that, you're going to see this. Now you'll see that you can drag and drop your own footage in here. So if you have nothing, you can just go to your Finder or Explorer and drag and drop it in. I've already dropped a whole bunch of different things in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and, oops, I'm going to go back to where I was there. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop that tiger footage in. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab it from here and just drop it in. And there we go. Now we've got this tiger looking all menacing, but you know what? It's not very good color. So let's go ahead and fix it. Now here's the beauty. This is the AI part. You can literally type in what you want it to look for. So, or look like, pardon me. So I'm going to go ahead and write orange and, oops, and teal, because this is the old, you know, action movie type look. And then I hit generate. And presto, look at that. It's done. And it's done a very good job. So that is all there is to it. You can do other things. For example, I'm going to go and type in Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. So if I want it to look like a particular painting, I can go ahead and click on Generate. And it will do that. And while it generates, took a look over here on the right side. You're going to see under Settings. Oh, yeah, look at that. Hey, that's not so bad. All right, maybe it wouldn't go for that in my final project, but... Again, shows you how strong it is. Click on Advanced, and under Advanced, you're going to see here that you can go grayscale, so you can do some black and whitey type things, and you can also adjust the intensity. So if it's too strong or not strong enough, you can go ahead and adjust it. Also, you can toggle it to the, toggle it to the original, so you can just take a quick look. And lastly, if you don't like it, you can go ahead and click on the Reset. Once you're done, let's go see Toggle the Process. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to click on Export. And again, you can make some choices here. You can download it in standard definition, 720 or 1080p. 1080p is where they get you if you want to pay for it, but 720 still looks pretty darn good. Click export, and that's it. It's going to download for me. It's free. And if you need it to be, you know, 1080 or higher, you can always just upscale it in another program. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.